Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 20 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to split multi-line rows based on new line character using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see our requirement in details. So this is our use case. As you can see the first image, this is how our source data looks like. Here you can see the data is present into multi-line rows. Okay, so the first line contains the category of question and the second line contains the question itself. Okay, so this question or this data is of visibility category and the question states that how long do the employees of this company work? Okay, and the second row is present in the single line. So this question is of variety category where it states that what are the skill set of the employees okay so what we want is we want to achieve this as the output data set that means we want to split this single column into two columns and we want to categorize this type of question into one column and then the question itself into another column okay so as you can see the first row is having multi-line character or multi-line rows so how we will split this based on this new line character and the second line we want to split based on the first space present in this data. Okay. So how to achieve this using mapping data flow. So let me go to Azure data factory and before that let me show you this source file. So this file is present in CSV format in my Azure data lake storage. So this is the first row that we have but it is splitted across into two lines that means multi-line rows are there for the first record and the second record is present in single line but we want to split it based on the space present here okay so let me go to ADF pipeline and let me start creating the data flow here I have turned my data flow debug option so that we can preview the data during the creation of data flow now let me add a source transformation and here let me create a data set pointing to Azure Data Lake storage. Okay. And my format of source file is CSV. So let me select that and let me select the existing link service. And here let me navigate to my file that is inside my Anu demo container. And the file name is split rows.csv. And I'm not going to select this first row as a header because there is no header okay and import schema let me import the schema here let me click on okay and if i preview the data right now let's see how it appears yeah so the data is visible it is coming under column underscore one and you can see uh, this is coming as three different rows visibility is coming as single row and the uh, other part of this multi-line row is coming as second row itself okay but this is now how our source data looks like. This should be coming in a single row itself with a new line character as the divider. So let me go to source option tab and here there is something called multi-line rows option. So let me uh, check this checkbox. Okay. And now if we preview the data, let it get refreshed. So it appears in only two lines. And if I hover on this, you can see it is actually multi-line row visibility as the first line and uh, the second part of the line is uh, that is the question part is coming in the same row but different line and variety and then the uh, second part of that is the question part is coming in single line so we want to split these into two columns okay so let me add a derive column transformation and here we will create two columns part one and part two so let me write part one here here we will write the expression to split both the rows based on new line character or the space whatever is present okay so first of all we will write a condition that if okay for using if we have the function called double i f okay so let me select that here we have to provide the condition and then we have to provide what is the result that you want as true uh, when the condition turns true and what is the result that you want when the condition turns out to be false okay so here let me write expression that if this column contains new line then then split that 
based on the new line character or else if that does not contain new line then uh, split that based on space okay so here to check if the uh, data contains new line or not we will use like function okay so let me select that and on like function you can see uh, here how we have to provide the syntax here you can see we have to provide the string in which we want to check the matching pattern okay if this kind of pattern is present in this string then it will result as true else it will result as false okay so here we don't have to provide string uh, rather than that we will provide the column name itself okay so let me provide syntax for new line character i'm going to give percentage percentage and inside that i'm going to give uh, backspace n okay this is the character that we define for new line okay so if this column contains new line then then we want to split that column based on the new line character okay so inside this true expression i am going to use split function what it does is it will split the given strings based on the delimiter provided and it will convert the whole string as the item of array okay and then we can simply select which part of the array you want to use in the expression okay so let me provide split function here and here let me give column one and the uh, delimiter that we want to give is is new line character that is backslash n since we are splitting this based on new line character it will split only the first row okay based on this we want to select the first part that is uh, first part of the array so let me give uh, square bracket and here since the array starts with first index not zero so here i am going to give one okay and in the false expression that means for the second row uh, where we don't have any new line character we will split it based on the space okay so here let me use split function again and same column one here i am going to use delimiter as space okay and again we have to select the first value of the array so let me hit on refresh and let me see if we are going to get uh, visibility and variety in the first part or not so let's wait for the data to be refreshed yeah so you can see this is the output so we are getting visibility for first row and variety for second row now we have to get the second part of this uh, lines so let me hit on save and finish and let me add a new column called part 2 okay and let me just copy this expression and here let me paste the same expression and here we are going to make few modifications to achieve our goal so this time what we want to check is we want to check if new line character is present in the row then we want to split it based on the new line character and we want to get the second part of the array okay and if the new line is not present then we we want to get this part okay that means after what after the first space whatever is present we want to get that as the output so here the expression will be almost same if this column contains new line character then split this column based on this new line character and we will get second part of the array this time okay and similarly if new line character is not present then let's check what happens if we give second uh, part of array for this uh, condition as well okay so let me hit on refresh let me expand this let's wait for the result we are expecting that we will be getting uh, the whole string whatever is there after visibility for the first row and we are expecting uh, this whole set of question uh, after the first uh, space for the second row so let's see so you can see for the first row we are getting the expected output that means the whole question we are getting after visibility whatever is present so it has split it based on the new line character and it has given the second part of the array okay so we are good here but what happened to this one uh, we are not able to get the whole string why because if you see in this part uh, it has been splitted only in two parts that means here the new line character is was present here so the whole array got divided into only two uh, item of arrays only two parts that means visibility and this whole string only two parts were there when it got splitted but in this row 
what we did is we split it based on space and it would have created 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight items of array because we have split it based on space here okay and here when we supplied two uh, it only gave the second item of array okay that is what but we want all of this question here so what we will do is in the false expression we will use substring function so that we can extract the whole substring based on the index that we are going to provide here okay so the first thing that we have to provide within this substring is the string that from which we want to extract the substring so here let me provide column name and we have to provide the starting position of the index okay so our starting position is nothing but after the first space whatever is there we want to fetch the data from that uh, index so here we have to get the index of the first space present in this line so to get the index we have to use something called locate function so what this locate function will do is it will give us the index value of the substring that we are finding inside a string okay so let me use this locate function here and we want to find the uh, first space character okay so let me give space here and in which string we are going to find it in the column one okay so we are good here so here we have to provide the number of characters that we want to fetch after this string okay so let me give length of the whole string so that it will dynamically fetch the uh, whole string so here let me give length of column one okay now if i hit on refresh we are expecting that it will return the whole uh, question itself okay so let's wait yeah so you can see we are getting the expected result for both the rows so we are getting the question part out of this input column so we are good now let me hit on save and finish now let me go to data preview and hit on refresh here yeah so the result is visible you can see part one is coming as the category of question and part two is the question itself okay now we don't want this column uh, coming from the source so let me use select function and just deselect this column okay and let me preview the data again yeah so only part one and part two are coming and now let me use sync transformation to load this data into uh, output csv so let me use adls gen 2 as the output data set and here let me select csv format again let me select the existing linked service and let me point to a demo container and hit on ok so first row uh, we will treat as header let me select on none and here in the settings we have to provide output to single file and we have to set single partition and let me give output file name as output split rows dot csv okay now let me call this data flow within adf pipeline and let me hit on debug so let's wait for this data flow to be completed yeah so the data flow execution is completed now let me go to uh, the output container that is demo and here we are expecting output file to be generated so you can see the output file is present now let me check the output by clicking on this edit tab yeah so the data is coming as expected let me download this csv file and see the results properly yeah so you can see the data got split into two columns as per our expectation so let me go back to presentation so this is what we wanted to achieve okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and also hit on bell icon to get notification whenever i add videos thank you